All right, Taylor, so we're here at Buddy's uh, Pizza, and we're here to do an interview, to just hear your thoughts and whatnot about um, the class of 2022. Okay. So we didn't do it at your uh, graduation party. So I'll let you just say what you want family to hear, you know? Um, first, I'll say thank you, everyone, for who showed up. It's open house, they appreciate it. I appreciate all the gifts. Um, it turned out really well. I'm glad everyone had a great time. I was very stressed out in the morning, but it all like turned out well. Um, and I'm excited to start college. So, and I'm also wearing the U Miami shirt. So let me do a blow up on that. <laughs> This yeah, nice, Sebastian nice. Sebastian, our mascot. So, what is that character? He's in this. That's how you pronounce it. He's a bird. Oh, okay. That's a mascot, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. So, um, yeah, go Canes. This is a symbol that we use. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's like Hurricane? Yeah, Hurricane. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's scary. When you think about being in Miami, they do have hurricanes. <laughs> yeah, like our dorms have like cut up like hurricane sh shutters. It's like a oh. hurricane window. And they really work. They're not just decoration. Yeah, it's real. Oh, okay. So, so I want to understand something <clears throat> just for the purpose of anybody else that want to attend college. I want to go way back. Uh, I just want to know, at what age did you develop some skills of being able to achieve higher grade point averages? And what was your technique? Um, you, can you help um, us on that? I mean, I kind of started off elementary school. I always wanted to have all A's. Mm -hmm. and then I went to middle school. That kind of went through, too. I didn't have all A's, but it was close to that. And then high school, I came in. I already knew I was going to go to college. So I wanted to make sure I did well. Uh, I kind of did call a little bit my freshman year, but the other years I did well. And then junior year, I started researching schools I wanted to go to, and Miami was my top school. So then when I got in, I got a scholarship, I already knew I wanted to go there. So now I just make sure I do well there so I can maintain my scholarship. So. Okay, back to elementary. So you said you wanted to get all A's, but I guess what I'm trying to get to, what was your plan, your technique to be able to do that? Oh. Well, my mom told me I Your mom? Come, yeah. Right here? <laughs> okay, hey, Chef Lane. We I got <laughs> yeah, Royce at the table and Grandma Tanya on your mom's side. And me also. <laughs> All right. But my mom told me I used to come home from school. The first thing I did was the homework. My parents, my mom. So did somebody ask you to do the homework? But you was just driven because you wanted to get some A's. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted, I think I just like the academic validation. Whatever I do while I'm in school, I'll get a treat. Like, yay, Taylor, you did good. Your mom would give you a treat? Yeah. Like okay. Every, I would get praise. Yeah, okay. Even like at school, teachers, they'll give me special attention because I was doing well. So I wanted to keep that going. Like, okay, if I do well, they will be proud of me. So it all stemmed from that when I was a little kid. So you was being a hero rather than a zero. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, good for you. Thank you. So did you have anything in particular that you did with study habits or something? Um, back then, no. I mean, it was kind of easy. But I guess when high school started, that's when I actually had to start trying a bit. Because things came easier on for me. Uh -huh. But then I actually had to study, so I did like flashcards, um, homework, and things like that. And then I had to do the homework and study color different color pens and stuff that helped and i'll watch youtube videos flash cards for mathematics or something else no for other things Oh, okay. Like math, that would have to be practice problems. You had to do what with math? Practice problems. Okay. Like I'll watch them on YouTube and I'll try or from there. So are you saying that the key to be successful in math is to practice? That's the only way I play for math. That's the only way? Yeah. So what would you say, how many um, hours per night of homework do you do in math compared to other subjects? Honestly, I didn't do too much math the past two years. Okay. But before, maybe the longest, I'll say maybe an hour or so. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. so if you, I'm going to ask this question that's kind of popular now. What would you say to your younger self? Um, I would say don't care anyone thinks. 
because I feel like I could have done a little bit better if I didn't care so much what other people thought about me oh. and just stuck to myself. I mean, I was also independent, but really like focus on doing well because none of that drama, none of that other high school stuff matters now. Like it, it doesn't, nothing, nothing matters. Is that what they call peer pressure or something? Yeah, peer pressure, bullying, that sort of stuff. But well, like. The, the need to be accepted or something yeah. or to fit in. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And I feel like it's so for everyone to feel that way, but it's not that matters. Now, in your elementary uh, days, were they wearing uniforms or how uniforms. did that? You think that's better than wearing? No. Oh, okay, because I think they're trying to get rid of uniforms. They should. I mean, I see why they wouldn't, but it's like, I'm. They say, you know, it prevents bullying. I don't really think so. At least in my school, no one really cared about what you had on. Oh. I was in, wasn't wearing uniforms, so no one cared at all. I prefer not to have uniforms. I know with your mom and her sisters, I mean, we didn't buy designer clothes and all that. And mm -hmm. maybe they were at a disadvantage because there was parents that put their kids in designer clothes and they were wearing all this expensive it's, stuff, you know? I, I could see that, but the thing is, it depends on your mindset. I never cared about designer clothes. And everyone I knew who wore designer clothes, they were broke at home. <laughs> they didn't have that much. It's all for shows. Oh, okay. Like she has money and stuff like she has. I noticed that too, folks that have big houses and cars, when you get in to know them, you find out they're really struggling trying to pay the bills. Yeah. So it's all pretense for how people uh, see them or whatever. Yeah, all my friends who have money, they wear the same two pairs of shoes, same clothes, we have clothes in them, like, yeah. they don't, they don't, they don't care. They're kind of humble, modest. Yeah, I gotta go get my baby. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna close out the tickets and you guys need anything else? Hold on a second, Taylor. So anyway, back to the video. So we were talking about peer pressure, whatever, and um, how do you decide and where do you think you are so far as leadership versus being a follower? Uh, I definitely think I'm a leader, uh -huh. especially the past few years. Like, I don't follow anybody. Okay. Uh, I always say what I want to say. I do what makes me happy as long as I affect other people, so. Are you a badass? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. No, I, just, I mean, I just do what I want because it's like life's short. Uh -huh. I, so I feel like doing whatever you want, as long as it's not negatively impacting other people, nothing really matters. I mean, it does matter, but. So, do you think you and your mom are the same in that regard? We have very similar mindsets, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. In regards to handling people or whatever? Or... Yeah. So, you like stand your ground. You're not going to get pushed over. Yeah, no. I stopped doing that. Because I said you push me over when I was younger. I don't know anyone. <laughs> yeah, I taught her to stand up for herself at a very young age. Taylor used to be very timid. Mm -hmm. And when she was about, how old were you, about seven? Oh, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some little girl said something mean to her. And Taylor came home crying. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta nip that in the bud. You gotta talk to this little girl. Yeah. So um, the next day, um, we talked to the teacher, and the teacher gave her a little pep talk, a little lecture on uh, standing up for yourself. So. Now, Taylor, I know your mom, she was really involved with um, activities at the school, mm -hmm. bringing cupcakes up there and doing all yeah. that stuff. Do you think that made a difference in the grade that you got? I think so. Wait, like as a teacher? I mean, like, do you think because of oh, your mom's involvement that you got extra oh, points or something? Like I don't, you don't think it made any difference? No, I think if anything made a difference in how I was at school, because mm -hmm. my mom was always there, so I didn't want to make her, like, disappointed. I ah. feel like that's why so many kids do bad at school, because their parents don't care about them anyway. So, so you had a concern that you didn't want to disappoint your mom. Yeah. Oh, so that's part of like being able to achieve like yeah. by your mom being engaged and she's there and so you know that she's kind of yeah. like watching or whatever. Because my mom, since she in high school, she always check my grades on power school like, whoa, 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 what is this? How okay. come you did that on this assignment? Like, what's this? What's missing? But I have so many of my friends and parents who don't care. They can do whatever they want. They horrible in high school and they, it's just, Okay. So, yeah. so your mom's approval is important to you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Yeah. Well, tell me this. Um, so you have decided what you're going to major in or is it like not I decided, yet? decided, yeah. You're definite or are you kind of going to play it out? Or? I'm pretty positive. <laughs> I'm going to major in health science and I'm still debating on pre-pharmacy or pre-med. But as for major-wise, it's on health science. Now, what is the difference between the three of them? Um, well, pre, I mean, pre-pharmacy and pre-med will go along with health science. But if uh -huh. I do pre-med, go to medical school. 
if I do a pre fire set and go to pharmacy school. Okay. So those are two differences. Yeah, I went to school with some guys and they were in the engineering program. They did that. They said they couldn't hang. They had jumped out of that and became a doctor. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. I guess these persons' mind is different about what they can handle. Yeah. yeah. So are you intimidated by mathematics or anything like that? Um, no, I just need to study a bit. Um, so I'm a little bit rusty. I have been taking full math in like two years. Uh -huh. So especially with algebra, it's not really hard. It's just I have to remember and go back. So have you done any uh, calculus? Yeah. I didn't freak out. Okay. Yeah. So is it true that for a uh, pharmaceutical program you have to do calculus? Yeah, we have to have a pre-med too. So it's, oh. it's the same. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. interesting. So the school that you're going to, what are some of the major programs that they have there? Um, besides the health school I'm now, at. Now, what school are you going to again? Um, University of Miami. Okay. But the school I'm at. The, the one in Ohio? No. <laughs> okay, all right. Because some people get that confused. But, um. So it's no, in Miami, it's right? Very, university, the U, University of Miami. Okay, all right. In Florida. Florida. Okay, all right. In Florida. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, the school I've been at that school is the nursing and health science school. Uh -huh. That's one of the top ones. But the main one is really their business school. Their business and their marine biology school. That's the most important. So are you considering nursing? Have you ruled that out? No. You haven't ruled it out? I don't want to. You don't want to? Okay. No. All right, sounds good. So what about entertainment? So when you go there to University of Miami, will you just be there on campus or will you get to go out to the beach? We can go to the beach, yeah. So yeah. for spring break, you'll be right there, right? Yeah. So you won't have to go nowhere. Yeah, a lot of the students end up leaving campus because our campus is kind of smaller. They don't really have many school parties. Uh -huh. Most of it looks at the, the clubs and stuff in actual Miami on the weekends. So it's more so like out in Miami for parties and stuff. So speaking of clubs, I mean, uh, give it to us straight. Do you have some aspirations where you want to be partying or something? I mean, I do want to go out. I'm not going to be doing it like every weekend. Okay. I'm not a huge partier. I mean, I like it, but my social battery is like after I get tired. I went to a party two weeks ago. I'm so tired from it. Yeah, I get that. It's like I don't want to. Okay. Yeah. So what about touchy subject, drugs and alcohol? What is your... I don't do drugs, but I feel like if you do, you know, smoke or drink, do it very responsibly. Mushrooms? Um, no, mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> no mushrooms? No mushrooms. Okay, all right. So anything else um, you think we should know that we haven't heard from you already in regards to um, your your adventure coming up? No, I just hope everything goes well. Um, hope I just stay focused. It's my biggest thing because I know I'll be doing STEM, so that's not super easy. You're doing what? Uh, STEM. Oh, what's that stand for? Um, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Is that something they do at a high school level? Yeah. So they're doing that at the college level also? I mean, that's just what it's, it's a STEM major, so anything that's not oh, okay. business or art and stuff. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So what is your concern, if any, that you say you hope or whatever? My concern is that it's going to be a lot harder than I think it's going to be, and it's going to be hard to maintain a social life and school life at the same time. Which one is more important? School, of course. Okay. But you need to have a social life as well, because you can't hear all the school, you know? Yeah, I guess it's important to make a social connection. Yeah. What, how much do you think it takes to make a social connection? Do you need to, like, connect with somebody every day, uh, once I, a week? I say going out maybe, like, once a week. Like, at least okay. talking to people every day is nice. So, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I think this is a good interview. Is there anything else? Uh, shout outs to anybody? Is there anybody that this like um, was um, an inspiration to you or an influence to your achievement? Um, my whole family is very supportive, but especially my mom always wanted to make her proud. Oh, okay. And I just wanted to have a good time and have a good life. And I'm happy that I have so I think you will. There's no doubt about that. Thank I think you. you're on the right track. So, thank you. Sound like you have everything in place. Yeah. I like the fact that you are considering yourself to be a leader. So that's important because 
these days seem like so many followers. Yeah. I get disappointed because I think sometimes people need to do research and figure some things out on their own rather than they go onto the internet. Yeah, because yeah. the internet is like information that's is true and false, and you really have to figure out like uh, what you want to believe. Mm -hmm. So, mom, did you have anything you wanted to say in closing? Um, I'm gonna say to all the parents, make sure that you are like very active in your kids' life um, at a young age. Make sure they're doing their homework and having open communication. Kids go through so much. You know, Taylor was bullied at a young age. Um, when your kids are getting bullied, you have to go up to the school. No emails, oh. no text messages. Go up to the school and talk to the principal. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. She was bullied at a young age. But I missed it, but I went up to the school, um, talked to the principal, got it handled. Um, that's very serious. So just make sure you're involved with your child and make sure your child can communicate with you, let you know what's going on, um, so you can address any issue. It, it just it makes life easier when you have open communication. Um, just stay involved with your kids. That's my biggest advice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What about, no? You say no. <laughs> Did you have any words you wanted to say within no, this video? We're all so proud of Taylor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now Taylor is your my granddaughter. Okay. So proud, so proud of my granddaughter Taylor. Um, and so you're Tiffany's mom. Tiffany's mom. Yes. And I'm Tiffany's dad. And yeah, I'm so proud. I'm the, the man behind the camera doing the interview. <laughs> I guess this was my suggestion. So I'm happy that Taylor allowed this opportunity. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that'll do it. Royce, did you have anything that you wanted to say? <laughs> Thank you. Let me ask you this. Of what was said here, I'm not sure if you heard it, but was there anything in there that that you feel that you could use, like from what she was saying, to help you? Yes or no? Yes. Great. All right, I'm going to close out. Thank you.